fifth grade here, a fortnight ago. It's got right out in the market. It's been a big drift of late. And we have them all the way. Green light. Lua travels. We're all set. Racing 11. Ready. And racing, walking out of the boxes was Fantana's dream, and it's a straight line up front. Alenza Girl drives through, leads Atomic Charlie from the east, trying to get through. Corborn Plough from the east got the fly. Back at the field down there was a missing mistake. Alenza Girl was flattened again, but in the straight from the east, drew away and beat Corborn Plough. Third home, Fantana's dream after that poor start. Then missing mistake and a losing data. Further back in the field, then Atomic Charlie. It was flattened out of the first corner along with Alenza Girl and Matty Lee ahead of it and the time recorded 17 even it was a lot about five into the first corner something had to give and from the east got the fly on the outside and has got the uh, money in its new kettle by west on angie out of kiss me linda Haley moffat the owner trainer i'm sure that gives harley a double for the uh, evening second placing in the event We'll go to the number two, Corborn Plough, Bailey Dickinson, and three, Fantana's Dream, who walked out but then got a beautiful run through when all the trouble occurred. Trained by Daniel Zara in third placing. Number five, officially fourth. Interim numbers are eight, two, three, five. Margins four and three quarters by one and a quarter. 17.05, the overall time, race 11. 5.41 early and 11.64 home. Right, standing by for the all clear while awaiting it. One to go. The last race, 12 scratchings are three, four, and seven. Three, four, seven. We've only got a field of four. Final event, 10.54. All clear on the previous, all clear.